What's up everyone and welcome to another Bitcoin market update, your daily breakdown on where Bitcoin might be moving next. If you haven't already, subscribe so you can get the updates on when these release each day, as well as get uh, updates on future educational content around cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. And we'll also be learning some technical analysis in these videos as well. So let's get started here on Bitcoin on the weekly time frame. We have been seeing these lower highs on the RSI, but higher highs in price, signifying potential waning bull momentum, meaning that there are less buyers up here on each higher stab in price. Now we haven't had a significant drawdown. Every time we see one of these bearish divergences play out with higher highs in the RSI, but lower highs in price, we get a very, you know, we get one candle and then we go up. We get one candle again right here, and then we go up. So last week we had uh, another up candle, and which validates this as a higher low in comparison to this one. Now we'll see if we continue this trend higher for another higher high and end up actually closing uh, some candles above this previous high from March 8th. The next major resistance level for us is right here at about 63.1. And then the next one after that is at about 80. That's on the weekly time frame. If we go to the three day time frame, let's see what we're dealing with here. We talked about this um, back here on March 2nd. You know, this is our major support level when we change the trend to bullish with our low, high, higher, low, higher, high. We then came down into this level, right into this black candle, and boom, got a nice uh, reaction off of that. Up here, set a lower high in comparison to this one, and then now are starting to come down. Now we'll need to try and form a higher low here if we want this trend to continue uh, to be bullish. You can see we had the um, hidden bullish divergence here on the RSI with a lower low in the RSI, but a higher low in price. That's a bullish signal. The RSI is a great indicator that I like to use to get a sense for, you know, where is the momentum going in price? Is it is the momentum carrying the price higher or is the momentum carrying the price lower? So you can see right now, if we look at the daily time frame, this is the trade that I've been talking about in these daily breakdowns for quite some time now, since back, I think we started talking about it right around here. So it's been several days since, and we still have not gotten filled on this order. Uh, so we'll see if we you know, end up getting filled here relatively soon. I'm not taking these bids off anytime soon uh, until we get, until we push into this zone. So this is our candle back here from March 23rd. And why is this a support zone? Let's talk about this briefly. So we had a bear trend right here, and the way we know that is with our bear pattern that we look for, which is a series of four things. We need a high, low, a lower high, signifying that the bull momentum is waning, you know, because they weren't able to push the price higher than the previous high, and then a lower low to signify that, in fact, it is confirmed, we are going down, the momentum is down. As Soon as we get that here, we form another lower, uh, we form a lower low in comparison to this one. And then we come up, we form another lower high in comparison to this one. And then we form another lower low right here. Now, when we form that lower low, this candle right here, the white candle where people were buying, this is telling us that uh, if people are buying right here, if the price comes back into that level, people might wanna sell their Bitcoin because it gives them a chance if we're in a bear trend before we go down for another uh, downturn. Now we did not go down for another downturn here. Instead, what we did was we pushed right through this zone, this white candle, which should have acted as resistance and closed above it. Several candles have closed above it now, as you can see up here. And so if we come back into this level that should have acted as resistance, this should be very strong support for price. We also have the daily pivot level inside of this zone which adds confluence. Uh, and if you're not familiar with the word confluence, it basically is just telling you that something is consistent with something else. So in this case, we have our support level that's consistent with the pivot level, which is saying 
the pivot level is saying if the price comes back into this level now that we've closed above this pivot level this should act as support and the gray level is saying uh, the same exact thing that this should be this area should be support so those two things would be said to be confluent with each other and as a trader or investor you want to look for confluence because it increases your chances of being successful when you make an entry and so these are where I'm looking to make my entry. I like to use this long position tool here to calculate out what my risk reward ratio is gonna be. In this case, it's 2.85. If I put my stop loss below this gray zone and then put my take profit up here at about 63.1, which is where that weekly pivot level is. And if you don't know how to use the long position tool, there is a video that I did a short tutorial that is very useful uh, to teach you um, how to use this as well as the short position tool on TradingView, which is right over here in this section here. And both of those tools are very simple to use and they're very straightforward and they save you a bunch of time. So I recommend uh, watching that video and learning how to use these tools so you don't have to manually calculate things like your risk reward ratio or you know your um, percentage away from entry that your stop loss is or your, your percentage away that your take profit is from entry. Um, so if we come into this level, what I would like to see is we come into this level and then we go up to that new high. Now the other thing to keep in mind here is this potential inverse head and shoulders pattern right here, where we have our left shoulder, head, right shoulder. If that ends up being a valid pattern, that will end up taking us to roughly, I did the calculation already, measuring from the head to the neckline, it's about 69K. So that takes us up to right around here. So that would be, uh, you know, if we ended up getting the entry in the gray zone and then we went down and went up to that zone, that would be roughly a five risk reward ratio. So that'd be even better than our 63, you know, roughly 63 one level. So that's very good, um, a very good entry that I'll be looking to take. Uh, let's go to the 12 hour time frame and talk about what we're dealing with here. So on the 12 hour time frame, we have our uh, downtrend right here that got established right here with our same exact pattern where we have our low, I'm sorry, our high, low, lower high, and then lower low. So that makes this last white candle before the down move the resistance level to watch because people were buying Bitcoin right here. So if we come back in this level, people may want to sell their Bitcoin. We'll see if that happens. Uh, if we rise into this level, we may chop around in this zone because you can see that the support level that we bounced off of was this purple zone right here, which was right here, this uh, doji candle back from the 28th of, of March. And the reason this was a support zone is because if we're thinking about the trend, you need to think about these, these trends to determine where the support and resistance is. We had the bull trend right here in the 12 hour time frame with low, high, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low, higher, high. And we continued that until right here we got a lower low. So this right here, the down, the, the da last down candle before this push up is gonna be our support level because people were selling their Bitcoin right here. So if we come back into it, people get a chance to rebuy their Bitcoin, which is what they did right here. We then are trying to form a higher low right here with a long lower wick of people buying the dip. And then we're gonna see if we go through this yellow zone. This is the only scenario that I would like to long. If we go through this zone, retest it, then is that's where I would make an entry point. Stop loss below the yellow zone. And then we would go from there. Uh, if not, if we come into this zone and reject off of it, I will only be looking to be a buyer in this gray zone, like I mentioned on the daily time frame. The purple, the other purple zone we're, that we're in right now is this black candle right here from once again, the same exact scenario right here where we got a higher low, higher high. So it's the last down candle uh, before that as well. And you can see that this level held up, you know, once, twice, three times before eventually we broke through it, but we didn't close below it. And now we're, uh, you know, testing it uh, once again right here. And so if we, you know, continue to test it, eventually it's it's not going to hold. 
So we'll see if we come up into this yellow zone and then break down below this purple zone one more time and go into that gray zone that we talked about. Four hour time frame. On the four hour time frame, we have established a bull trend right here with a low, high, higher low, higher high right here with closes above this key high. This black candle is our support zone. We did go below that level, but just to sweep the liquidity that was below this low right here, which is where people were uh, buying Bitcoin. So we swept below that with two candle closes, or I'm sorry, two candles pushing below that low, triggering the stop losses there. So then people could fill their orders uh, and then pushing up right here, uh, trying to push above to see if we go into this yellow zone. So that is the key levels to watch, the yellow zone right here. This white candle is gonna be the four hour resistance zone. Uh, which is up here at roughly 59.320. And then that goes up to about 59.7. So that's going to be the main 4-hour resistance. Uh, the 12-hour resistance starts at about 58.77 and then goes up to about 60K. So that's going to be our main resistance zone. The main support zone to watch is that gray zone from the 23rd of March, that daily candle right here and that and those are the main levels to watch on bitcoin right now so that's all i got for this one guys i hope you liked it if you did give it a like down below and subscribe for future educational content around cryptocurrency and blockchain technology and until next time onward and upward